Good day, classy ladies and gentlemen. Here we go once more. Uh, we're gonna go back on Katawa Shoujo, and we're gonna do one of these other uh, girls. I think else uh, last time I did Emmy, so I think this time I'm gonna do uh, the Shizune route. I don't know if I finished it at all, but anyway. So we're gonna go through this intro again. You all know. Just watch the other video. This is gonna be the most annoying part, and I kind of wish I could skip all this, and I probably could, but uh, fuck it, right? You guys get to watch this and hear the sad music. Uh, like four or five more times, depending on how many playthroughs I want to do. But instead, we're going to be going for Shizune this time, as I said. So, he's like, do you want to introduce yourself? And the last time I said, why? So this time I want to get points for Shizune, so she's all about, you know, being a good, like, class, uh, what's the word looking for? Good, like, student body, because she runs the, like, the student council. So, you, yes, you want to introduce yourself, because she's like, oh, he's so upright and good standing and wants to participate in class and everything's just great. He's just a perfect person. So then, you know, we had these little talks about things and I was a jerk and I spent her deafness, but instead, I think I got everything I need to know because she's such a great teacher and she goes, yes I am, but at least in her head or with her hands and then Misha says it out loud because Misha subconsciously signs everything that Shizune does. Uh, or like other people say, so Shizune is never left out of the conversation. Uh, and this is, <laughs> I think this was actually also my second, I think I'm going to play these in the way that I played these originally. So this was my second run through. So I was like, Shizune seemed like a pretty cool person at first, but I never saw her again. Why is that? Because I've apparently never played a visual novel before and didn't know he'd get locked into paths. I just thought you'd be hanging out with everybody, being best friends. But no. So I was like, what's, what's her deal? How's this going to go? So here we go. We're going to attack aggressively this time because you're so aggressive in the bedroom. And this is, like, I don't know, a weird thing for me at least. When I'm playing this, I have voices in my head for everybody. And I'm not doing any of these voices because I don't want to. But I have voices for everybody in my head. Except for Shizune. Which, of course, makes sense. She's mute and deaf. Mute and deaf. So she doesn't have a voice <clears throat> uh, to speak with. I mean, she has, you know, her vocal cords kind of make noise. But I just, I never really gave her a voice, or voiced her differently in my head. It was always just, because, you know, later on, uh, god damn it, she wasn't cute. Later on, uh, you learn sign language to get closer to her, so you guys are signing, so I would always just read the signs as if I was getting signed to and had that, my, my own voice in my head. So this one's different, because this we didn't get an option last time. If you read your book, you get points towards, uh, Hanako and Lily. So we're gonna wait for them to come to a decision because we're getting points strictly towards them. <clears throat> but yeah, everyone else has a voice, like Misha's bubbly. Emmy is also bubbly, but Misha's a lot louder. <laughs> so basically just to the nth degree. Uh, so anyway, you're sitting here at the cafe. This is the thing. Yeah, you get to the cafe. And you're like, let's get sweets. So, okay, so if you guys remember last time, last episode I was talking about how, you know, this one, or Emmy was all about getting healthy. This one, you're kind of like, mm, fuck it. I'm gonna, you know, order food three days a week because that's the limit. I'm gonna, you know, eat all these sweets and basically just be a general slob. <clears throat> so this one, as fun as it is, uh, you know, you're bettering yourself in a different way because, you know, you're branching out, you're reaching out to people. Fuck you, I'm not gonna run. Uh, you're, you know, reaching out to other people and learning their ways by, you know, learning sign language so you can talk to Shizune. And especially, it makes sense if you're gonna, you know, try to have a relationship or try to bone zone her. You don't want Misha there interpreting all your oohs and ahs. You'd rather yourself interpret your own oohs and ahs. Didn't I say maybe? Don't talk to me. Did I click the wrong one? No, I didn't. Okay, good. <clears throat> so I think at that point, you're like, well, let me do a little bit of a jog. And you just basically leave. Uh, so here we go. Here, I mean, you saw the last one, but I skipped over it. This is, there's a rivalry between them, and you'll hear the scissors noise in a bit. There we go. So you're like, what's the rivalry about? Two points for Shizune. What's the rivalry about? And you're like, don't worry about it. And it gets explained later. But instead, so now you're, I think at this point, you're part of the student council, or at least you get to the point where you're the part of the student council, because uh, you're in love with the girl who does the student council. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, so you go, like, like, let's make notes. We'll do these things. Is it? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do these things. Let's have lemon, so melon soda, because that's the safe thing to drink. <laughs> I'm sorry, I honestly don't remember what happens in Shizune's route. I'm trying to tell you guys, but it's just gonna be a whole thing. Did they just, like, burst over each other? Yeah, okay, that's what it was. So they burst into your room. Now, this is the most important decision between the two of them, between, like, this route. If you try to dodge the subject, you're good. You're stuck in Shizune's route. If you kick them out of your room, uh, you get you, you get a game over, in a way. Uh, I'll do that one, eventually. But if you get, like, no points towards any girl, and you basically shut them all down, you have a nice little touching moment with another character, and then something uh, tragic happens. Tragic happens, is what I tried to say before my voice uh, kind of pussed out. Hey, uh, let's go hang out at this cafe. So you're like, let's go hang at the cafe. Let's have sweets. So you, you get a whole bunch of sweets. And that's really it. So now you're talking. She's People are talking. They're having fun. Uh, oh, you have to do... Uh, no, they're playing games. I forget what games they play. But Shizune likes to turn everything into a game because she's a competitive narcissist. More or less. Uh, <laughs> she's like, yeah. Hey, I spend the whole day doing things. Uh, in like the non-sexual way. Oh god, what was that noise? <laughs> I think it was just a soda opening, but it sounded really grotesque. Anyway, you guys order food. Uh, because of reasons. Raisins. And then we get back to the festival. He's like, oh, pillow for it. You guys remember. Uh, so he's like, let's go hang out because we're all part of the student council. Let's do things. You're like, yes. So, as with Emmy, you're like, oh god, what's that face? Um, she's like, don't eat sweets. Here with Shizune and Misha, they're like, let's eat sweets. And you go, okay, I can do that. Look at the dumpling cart. I think Lily's over there at one point. Anyway, uh, she turns into a game, wins the game, gets the little stuffed teddy bear. And you, oh, my heart. So it's all time for the fireworks. And probably one of my favorite things happens here. Is it? Where are you? I was like, what's going on? I think you're holding hands or people holding hands. And you're like, this is great. Shizune, everything's wonderful. And then she does her arms opening out. And then... You stand and hang out. And then pop, the fireworks happen. Like, that's a pretty neat little thing that goes on. And as you guys are hanging out, you're like, I think I like her. Maybe things are sweet. So then you get another FMV. And you're like, oh, learning sign language. And she goes, bah ha 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 ha. That's a dumb one. That's the one for poo poo, but I don't know. I can't think of anything. But instead, I don't know. This one's really sweet. Hey, Shizune, have you ever seen the stars? Because you can't hear. And like, I don't... Uh, let's pass notes instead. I don't want to talk. And you see sad little Misha in the background. Which comes into play later. Misha's like, well, why does he get to hang out with Shizune-san? I want to hang out with... What does she call her? C-chan? I think is what it is. She gives nicknames to everybody, but it's basically the first syllable of their name. And then Chan. <laughs> and then Act 2 is learning to read. Which is dumb, because it's not learning to read, it's learning to talk with your hands. I don't know, it doesn't really make sense. She, you know, writes a whole bunch of notes. Jesus Christ, stop writing notes, no one cares. <laughs> They're like, we're all gonna hang out some more. We're gonna go out on the roof, because this is where all the lunch happens, even though in the other route, this is where Emmy and Rin sit up on the thing. And she likes pointing at the sky. So anyway, you get that note again, and you just, uh, yeah. You decide to read it, and you're like, nope! And then she gives you a box, and you're like, I'm gonna grab the box, but we're gonna stop here and eat lunch, and we're gonna eat lunch. And she's like, you guys, we both have to carry it. Whoever drops it first loses. And I don't remember who wins, it doesn't really matter. Because, uh, just, I don't know, this is the weird part of me not remembering what goes on in this. I think, because when I said that I played, oh sorry, she plays uh, chess with uh, Hanai Nanoko, and then she loses because Hanako sucks balls. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, as I said in the last one, I played the Emmy path like 400 times, just trying to like make sure all the recording equipment and everything works. So I actually read the majority of that one because right after I discovered or right after I beat the Emmy route, I discovered the skip unread text, which 
I really wish I would have known originally, because then I wouldn't have had to play it so many times. But anyway, you see all these brackets, that's you guys talking back and forth with your hands. Uh, I don't have a webcam, so you can't see me making fun of deaf people. <laughs> Which I don't apologize for? I don't know. So here's kind of where you figure out that they're, you know, why their rivalry is so. Because she comes over, basically says some other stuff. This is, okay, sorry. Another side note, this is why I really like the Shizune route, because you're talking to Kenji, and basically in all the other routes, he's, I can't, I'm switching everything around, uh, he's, like, just seems like the weird guy, and you're like, why, you're so weird, but at this point, he decides to, oh goodness, go on and skip, he takes his glasses off, and you get this, you get to see his eyes for the first time, and they're all glossed over and blank, and he's so sad. And he's like, no, I'm not that bad. But then he puts his glasses back on, and he just becomes the weird asshole again. But, you know, you get to see a different side of Kenji, outside of uh, the horrible route with not talking to any of the girls. Then you guys decide to go back to uh, the cafe and talking about some things. I don't really remember. As I said, I don't remember this one a whole lot, because I skipped all of these things. So we're just gonna... Okay, so we're going to the festival again? Yeah, so they get to wear their, uh, I forget what those are called, please someone tell me, uh, in some way, shape, or form. But you know, you know, they're all dressed up, and it's like, oh, it's so sweet. And then as you're sitting here, uh, hanging out with each other, you're like, maybe I can ask her, do you want to be my girlfriend? And she's like, ah, yes, I do want to be your girlfriend. And you go, yay! I don't know why she sounds like a dying cat. Or why you sound like a- Oh, well, I know why she sounds like a dying cat. I don't know why you sound like a dying cat. So anyway, you guys are dating, and she doesn't really show much affection in the way, so you're like, why? What happened? And- <laughs> I completely forgot about the bush shirt. Uh, this is their street clothes. For whatever reason, Emmy- uh, not Emmy, fuck. Misha is wearing a bush Cheney shirt, and you're introduced to this person who you might think is a girl, but it's actually Shizune's little brother. And here you go. Here's where you find out why the rivalry is so, more or less. You get to find out that they're cousins uh, by, you know, their parents. So here, from left to right, is Misha, then Shizune, then Lily in her street clothes, then Lily's sister, who it looks like a dude, uh, what is it? Akira, and then next to that, uh, Akira babysits Shizune's brother, because, you know, the families are so close. And then you guys are like, we're gonna go fishing. And she's like, let's make it a, a race and a challenge. So you guys go fishing. No one really catches anything, because who gives a shit about catching fish? And then, you know, let's you talk, get to talk to Hideaki. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He was like, why do you sign with your hands? And he's like, so I can talk to your sister? And he goes, why would you want to do that? And you're like, you don't want to talk to your sister? So anyway, you get to, oh, and then you get to get introduced to Shizune's dad, who's just an asshole. And you can definitely tell that they didn't care about what he looks like, because the only design they really tried to put into him is his fucking shirt. His face looks like a pummeled asshole. So yeah, anyway, all this stuff happens, and you're talking, and you're like, yeah, let's sign, and he goes, no one will sign, because you must use your mouth to speak. And you're like, do you not realize that your daughter literally can't do that? And also, Misha cut her hair. And Misha's like, I like Shizune's short hair. And Shizune's like, eh, it looks okay. Let's sneak away. So then you sneak away. And it's like, okay. Oh, goodness, you fall. You almost kissed me. Get out of here. So you go sit in your room. And she goes in your room. She's like, that's the first time I've been in your room. And you go, no, you barged in my room earlier. And she's like, yes. Also, close your eyes. And put your hands behind your back. And you're now you're sitting on a chair. And she's grinding upon your pee-pee. And you're like, what is this? Why I can't talk now because I can't use my hands. And she's like, that's the whole reason. And she gets all sweaty because she's rubbing against your pee pee. And then you come in your pants. This is, this is a trend. Anyway, so Misha's like, I cut my hair because of reasons. Don't you like it? And you're like, yeah, it's okay. And he's like, I don't like it. And you're just like, I don't really care. Jigoro. Anyway, so you get your letter now. And it's more or less the same letter. Jesus, stop knocking on the door. What the fuck? Anyway, uh, it's the same letter. I think things get mixed around between the different routes. But you're like, oh, what happened? Misha's all sad now. And Misha's like, because of my hair. Um, Shizune didn't like it. And you're like, why do you care what Shizune thinks about your hair? And she goes, reasons. 
let's go hang out. And you hang out, and she's like, do you like her? And you're like, yes. And she's like, do you like her, like her? And you're like, yes. And you're just like, things are going on with Misha. Things are being weird. She's not talking to me. Things aren't happening. And, I don't know. You're like, oh, why am I stuck in the middle of these two things? I wish I could just choose to be, you know, happy and not... God, she must be getting really dizzy going back and forth. Anyway, Yuko gives you some life advice that you don't care about. Kenji's stealing books. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, the cryptology book. And he's also going to church, apparently, by sitting up and down like that. <laughs> so yeah, like, everything's good, everything bad, and she's like, I don't know. I uh, really don't know what's happening in this section. Anyway, and then Misha's like, hey, I feel sad now. Uh, can you uh, just make me not feel really sad? And here is the big uh, turning point where you can have either the good ending, where you're like, no, I'm not going to comfort you, Misha. Or you can comfort Misha, and you comfort her uh, with your penis. So I'm going to say no, and you give her a shove. And she goes, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. And she's doing it like, what's wrong? And you're like, nothing, except for Misha. And you're like, no. So then you get up on the rooftop, and Misha's all sad. She looks all sad and crying. And you're like, why is all crying? She goes, because I also like Shizune. Back when I had long hair that wasn't pink, apparently. I told her that I was in love with her. And she said, no. And she's like, I wish I wasn't here at all. While leaning up against the fence really hard. And you push her away, and you're like, don't you dare kill yourself. And Shizune's like, hey guys, what's up? And you guys are like, nothing. So then you guys walk away holding hands because that's cute. That's a cool picture. And since you get the good ending, you get to go into act four, which is my younger self, or to my other self. Well, that's, I guess that's her talking to her, you know, younger self. Anyway. So since you didn't fuck Misha, uh, <laughs> You're like, hey, Shizune, you did know that she's still in love with you, right? And she goes, yeah, but I don't like girls. <laughs> and that's basically the whole point of why they're not, uh, you know, canoodling each other. And by canoodling, I don't mean signing gestures. I mean, like, finger blasting. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I don't really know what's happening here. Everything's all happy and happiness. Uh, I think this is the only route that goes through your first day at school to the last day of school. All the other ones take place, like, in between or after school ends. And Kenshi's like, hey, do you know about things of stuff? And you're like, I don't know. And then they have a little back and forth. And he's like, why aren't you speaking? Why aren't you speaking? Stop using your hands. Use your mouth. Learn to speak. So then you guys are hanging out, and you're like, this is all nice and cool, and everything's cool, and you're like, yeah, but Misha's been acting weird, and you're like, yeah, I know, and you're like, why don't we just teach all these people to do our jobs for them, because we're graduating, I think. And you're like, they'll take all this time and stuff off of our hands. Well, that's okay. We all always have next time. And Misha leaves, and then you guys just decide to, oh, Jesus, uh, to go bone zone, ham on everything. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, so you guys do the canoodling, and you're like, and Shizune's like, we're gonna sneak around, let's see. Uh, Professor is hanging out with Misha, maybe they're canoodling, but they're not canoodling. Uh, she's actually just learning, uh, and trying to be a smarter person. And Shizune's like, I didn't know that Misha could be smart, I thought she was just stupid. And you're like, no, why would you think she's stupid? Anyway, so Kenji's like, alright, see ya, man, it's the end of the year, I hope you have a good, good time. And Misha's like, yeah, I hope you have a good time, and you're like, I do too. And then Yuko's like, bye, I gotta go take pictures. And then you guys are hanging out by the gate, and you're like, let's uh, take a picture for old time's sake because we're all cool friends. Let's make this pose because that's how people stand. And then everything's good. Yay! And that's the end of Shizune's route. I do apologize, everybody, for having to watch that and me blabber on for 20 minutes about random bullshit. But anyway, uh,. If you enjoyed this, I guess you can press the like button, or if you want to watch more bullshit spewing out of my face hole, you could subscribe to it. I'm trying to get through the rest of all these games, and I have a whole bunch of other things. Uh, or you can just uh, leave a comment calling me a f*** it. That's cool too. Bye everybody! <laughs>